and welcome back. Today we have a really cool adventure. We are going from Mexico all the way to France today. But first, we need to sing our good morning song. So sing it with me at home. A, B, C's and one, two, threes. Shapes and colors more you'll see. We are learning all our lives. Together with you is twice as nice. We will learn and we will be very, very proud you'll see. All right, stand up so we can say our Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Repeat after me. I am smart. I am smart. I am kind. I am kind. I am important. I am important. And remember, a person's a person, no matter how small. Okay, first thing I need to do before we go on our travels is I need to stamp my passport. So I'm going to put my stamp in here and I'm going to stamp it. We are going to France. So today you might be able to do your lily pad. And lily, the lily pad look like this with your paper plate. You can paint it green or yellow, whatever color you've got, and you can put your tissue paper right in the middle. And the lily pad is, um, we did that craft because there's a famous artist named Monet, and he did a painting on lily pads, which was really neat. So maybe have your mom or dad pull that up on the computer and show it to you. Is that right, Miss Carrie? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I wanted to show you over here on our atlas. So we are coming from Mexico. We're gonna go down here to France. And I wanna show it to you down here. Here is France, right here. France is in Europe, right there. All right, good job. All right, let's come back over. We're gonna read a book titled Madeline. And I brought Madeline with me today to share with you. So she's going to hang out with us while we read the book. How do we how do we say hello in oh, French, yes. Miss Cassandra? Hello is bonjour. Bonjour. Can you say that at home? Try it again. Bonjour. And uh, in, uh, goodbye in French is au revoir. Say it one more time. Au revoir. Good job. We'll practice that again at the end. All right, Madeline. Madeline. See if I can hold this book. All right. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. See all the vines. Lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread. and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Claybell. In the middle of one night, Miss Claybell turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried, her eyes were red. 
and soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed Danton 106. <laughs> Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry, not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank, and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. See the rabbit up there? Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so 10 days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clayville said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four, read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clayville turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clayville ran fast and faster. And she said, please children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo hoo. We want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Claybell. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. The end. So that was a story from Madeline. And Madeline lives in France. How cool is that? So neat. All right, so I'm gonna have you come on over here. Let's figure out what day it is today. All right, count with me at home. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, it is the very end of our month and I'm putting up a pink sand bucket. Wow, try and think about what month is gonna come next, I wonder. All right, let's follow 30 up. Do, 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 do. Repeat after me, today is? Today is? Tuesday. Tuesday. June. June. 30th. 30th. Tuesday's a day of the week and there are seven days in the mm. whole week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be Wednesday, let's have fun. Let's have fun. All right, I'm gonna come up here to my month. We are in the month of June. June is our sixth month, and there are 12 months in the whole year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Way to go. I hope you had fun on our adventure today and stay tuned for tomorrow when we head to, you'll have to find out tomorrow. See you then. Au revoir. Au revoir.